oftentimes you will get different arguments pushed back on why someone can't believe in God. Uh, the first most common one is evil and suffering. People will often say, I can't believe in a great and all-powerful and good God and still see all the pain and suffering in the world. How can there be a good God and so much pain and suffering? Have you heard that one before? Have you felt that one before? We all have. But here's the thing you've got to understand. This argument actually cuts the very limb that an atheist is sitting on off. Because here's the thing. First and foremost, just objectively, evil and suffering doesn't disprove the existence of God. It's, it just doesn't. But intrinsically, think about this. It has been, it has been uh, a great apologetic argument to point out the very fact, like C.S. Lewis talks about that, the very fact that you and I have a sense of right and wrong and that you have a sense that it's wrong that children die, and it's wrong, apartheid is wrong, and holocausts are wrong, and murder is wrong. The very fact that human beings have a sense of justice and morality imprinted in their soul is a great evidence that there's some higher power establishing a moral standard. And so this, this argument has to cut both ways. Another thing about the argument of evil and suffering, you ever thought about this? A lot of the time people will say, I can't believe in a God who is all powerful and all good and continues to let evil and suffering happen. Well, here's the problem with that argument. If you want a God who is all powerful and all good, that God probably has reasons for things that you can't understand. And oftentimes we want it both ways. I want a God who is all powerful and all good and I totally agree and sign off with all the reasons he does what he does. Which is to deduce God into not a God at all. Does that make sense? You're like, ah, oh, dude, you're losing me. <laughs> let, me, let me read it like I wrote it. If you have a God big enough and powerful enough to be mad at for the existence of evil and suffering, you will have a God big enough and powerful enough to have reasons and purposes for evil and suffering that you can't understand. You can't have it both ways. And so evil and suffering doesn't prove or disprove God. In fact, I think it even points to God. Number two, you'll often hear evil perpetuated by religion, like Hitchens, the, the great atheist. He loves this one, that I can't believe in God because people who believe in God have created some of the greatest atrocities in human history. And he's not entirely wrong. Human beings, in the name of God, have done and continue to do horrific things. And no faith group is exempt from that. I mean, you look at the Buddhists, uh, that it, was, it was actually Buddhism and Shintoism that, that kind of led to the militarism of the Japanese in World War II. It was, the, it was that ideology. Uh, you look at the Crusades through, for Christians. It's a dark time in our history. You look at Islamic terrorism even today. I mean, we're, we're watching that on the news right now. But this doesn't prove whether there's a God or there's no God. All that proves is human beings are dark and broken, which is an... Another opportunity to talk about the gospel. But the thing you want to push back on an on a atheist or a secular person when they make that argument is, well, you are also forgetting that agnostics, atheists, and secular people have actually caused some of the greatest atrocities of the last 300 years. I mean, you, you can talk about Soviet Russia. and You can talk anyway. It doesn't prove or disprove there's a God. Third argument is this. You'll just hear this. This is where it all boils down to. Look. I know you say you believe in God, but you can't prove there's a God. What do you say to that? You can't prove there isn't. Exactly. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to just get equality in these arguments. To say, like, you're a faith person. It is a great statement of your faith to say there is no God. How do you know? And you are taking great leaps of trust in your own ability to deduce all of existence into the fact that you don't think there's a God. You're banking a lot on that opinion. 